Hello, here we are on section 20-3, uh, the very last lesson for business math. And this one is about sinking funds, and we're going to be finding the periodic payments. So we haven't really done that before. Not for sinking funds in these times. We have for mortgages, we found payments, right? Um, a sinking fund is an annuity in which the stream of deposits with appropriate interest will equal a specified amount in the future. In a sinking fund, you determine the amount of periodic payments you need to achieve a given financial goal, right? How, how much money do you need each period? Here's our first example. The required amount is $24,000. Now, that is how much we need at the end of this. So that's going to be our future value, right? It's going to be $24,000. The frequency of the payment is quarterly. The length of time is six years, interest rate 8%. So let's fill in the rest of this. We do not have a present value. Um, N will be six years, and this is quarterly, so six times four. We will have 24 periods. Interest rate eight divided by four, so it will be 2%. And then we'll be looking at a payment amount and so we're going to compute the payment now whenever we're we have this um, future value that's a positive twenty four thousand dollars and you're um, calculating this the way the book does this the way the authors um, list it is that we will have a positive payment even though on your calculator it may turn out as a negative it'll show this because that's kind of what we told it to do still when you're answering those questions you're going to list that just as 788.91 so that is the amount you would have to put in each time to achieve the $24,000 um, in payment form okay here's our next one And the way I can tell you that on this payment is that when you know the future value, then that's how that's when they're listing it as a positive. Okay. After paying off a car loan or credit card, don't remove this amount from your budget. Instead, invest in your future by applying some of it to your retirement account. How much would 375 invested at the end of each quarter be worth in 12 years at 4% interest? Okay, so 375, 12 years, 4% interest, and it's quarterly. All right, so we're going to take 12 years times 4. That would be 48. We are dividing um, the 4% by 4, so it is going to be 1% each period. Present value is zero. Our in, our payment is three seventy five, and we're paying that in to achieve this future value, and that would end up as. Remember, pause and find this yourself. Make sure that you've got everything on your calculator entered correctly. Twenty two thousand nine fifty eight forty eight. All right, next. Jeff Associates borrowed $32,000. The company plans to set up a sinking fund that will re repay the loan at the end of eight years, assume an 11% interest rate compounded semi-annually. What must Jeff pay into the fund each period of time? Okay, so the future value is one we know. And that means when we find our payment, if you were entering it on connect, you would put it in as a positive. Right, so that's going to be 16 periods because it is semi-annual for eight years, 32,000 and 11% interest rate. Okay, so 11 divided by two, that would be 5.5%. Our present value is zero. And we're checking to see what kind of payment that would be. 
Okay, when you compute it on your calculator, it shows up as a negative. And so that is 1,298.64. That's what we would have to pay 16 times to end up with the um, 32,000 future um, value, right? Okay. Here's our next one. In 10 years, Rolo Company will have to repay a $108,000 loan, assume a 7% interest rate compounded quarterly. All right, 10 years, we need this much money, 7% interest rate compounded quarterly. So it's just a matter of getting everything in your chart. How much must they pay each period to have the 108000 at the end of 10 years? Okay, so let's go through and complete the chart. It is 10 years compounded quarterly, so that will be a total of 40 periods. We're going to take our interest rate and divide that by 4, so 1.75%. Zero on present value, future value is 108,000, and then we're going to compute our payment. All right, so make sure you've got everything in your uh, calculator correctly and compute 1,886.99. So we're going to put in this number if we were answering this question on connect. All right, Lance Industries, last example of the whole semester. Lance Industries borrowed 120000 The company plans to set up a sinking fund that will repay the loan at the end of 16 years. Assume a 6% interest rate compounded semi-annually. What amount must Lance Industries pay into the fund each period? Okay, so $120,000. We are paying at the end of uh, uh, the period for 16 years. It's 6% compounded semi-annually. All right, so let's complete this. 16 years times 2, so that's going to be 32 periods. 6% divided by 2, so it will be 3% interest rate. 0 on present value. Future value is 120000 and we're going to compute the payment. Okay, so the payment for this, 2,285.59, and we would put that in then as a positive to make sure that you get that answer right when you're working on Connect. All right, you guys, that is the end of this one. There were just a few questions for this portion of chapter chapter 20. So that's why this lesson and, and even the section 20-2, um, that was a little bit shorter also. All right, as always, pause, practice. Let me know if you have questions. Bye, everyone.